It's going to be a Terran versus Zerg spawning down the bottom left-hand side of the map. Off to a cheesy start, it's Psystorm's Rough. And his opponent spawning up in the top right-hand side of the map. It's uh, Caleb Arrakis playing for Team Rise. I'm just going to quickly look into why that scene switcher didn't work. Sometimes things uh, like to be a pain. Apparently I have to click start there. God knows why. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks to everyone for tuning on in. I'm just excited. Uh, it's going to be a bit casual for the first show match. I thought this would be a cool one for us to warm up with. But uh, sorry, but just dragging around there. Yeah, looks like uh, the opening here. Rough going to be actually walling. I mean, I didn't actually catch that there. I know he sent out two SCVs, I think, or he just walled off on his low ground here and actually went for an eBay block right off the bat to Caleb. Going to force out a pool. And then I imagine he's going to wall off on the low ground here. So just going to be delaying Caleb's expansion sort of for his own, putting the Zerg in an already uncomfortable situation. But uh, yeah, so I mean, this is the sort of stuff you guys can expect from NA. E eBay blocking a Zerg, following it up with double gas, typical rough fashion here. So uh, let me just also set that up so it is indeed a best of seven. Let me just... Uh, Quickly, I mean, this is the uh, first thing here. I'm just going to quickly add some text to say that this is Caleb. So there that is. Now a rough actually getting out a quick marine after this, so he's going to be able to work away on this overlord. But uh, yeah, so... Now this eBay, it's still denied Caleb's expansion. It forced him to another awkward one. And meanwhile, Ruff is just getting up a factory and a solid wall behind this. He's not going to be able to get the Overlord here. And he's going to want to put his Marines back inside because there are lings out for Caleb. But I mean, Caleb's already thrown off a little bit by this. So Ruff just playing at NA already, man. Good morning, Easy Yuio. Forgive me if I butchered that, but yeah. Hello to everyone who's tuning on into these show matches. I really appreciate the support. So if you guys share this stream or whatever, that's appreciated. But either way, just watching is plenty cool as it is. So as far as what Caleb's going to do, I'm not sure. I mean, sometimes players, after they're, you know, cheesed out a little bit, they may try and put on their own aggression. But he is just getting up his third base, forced to mine at his natural a little bit. It's, I mean, it's an uncomfortable situation. And this is where Ruff gets his advantage in his games. Basically what happens is... That uh, Ruff, I mean, he's going to be a guy who does more cheesy builds like this more often. Whereas Caleb, I mean, he's probably never faced an eBay block versus as a Zerg player. Now, a Pneumatized Carapace is on the way for Caleb Arrakis, which is something that I like to see. Because, I mean, if you're playing versus someone who's very cheesy, you want to have full, full information. And uh, Overwood Speed will help out with that. Now, uh, Ruff getting up a lot of Hellions, going to be getting up an Armory behind this as well, so maybe going for a bit of a Hellbat push, and this could catch Caleb off guard. I mean, he's, I mean, his third base, or his third base location has a lot of value here. Uh, he may get these Hellions, though, which would be a fantastic pickoff. I mean, if two Hellions go down before a Hellion all in, that's a pretty big deal, but yeah, so... Caleb is going to want to be ready for this rough turn note, a few Hellions, and I really like the vision here for Caleb. He's coming in with his overlords, getting full vision here. Meanwhile, Ruff's going for a bit of a plus one, so maybe he's going to follow this up with Cyclones. We'll just see, because, I mean, vehicle attack does benefit Cyclones more than it does Hellions, but Ruff is going to be putting on a bit of aggression here, going to have the option for Hellbats. Meanwhile, Caleb just getting out a lot of Queens happily on three bases. You really can't expect what Ruff's going to do. No matter who you are, it's it's just going to be something that's going to throw you off. Now, uh, I like this for Ruff, getting up another factory, getting up another reactor. So really is going to be committing to this uh, Cyclone Hellbat. So he's going to want to try and kill Caleb here. Now he's coming in with his Hellions here. Maybe he's just going to dive into the natural. We'll see if Caleb's ready for this. I mean, he's committing to Roaches, but Ruff's actually just going to be waddling on in instead of diving on in. I mean, units-wise for Caleb, it's just eight links. He's got 16 more on the production tab, but there's actually not too much to deal with this. So Ruff's going to be able to walk into the main base here. Caleb's going to have to chase it, but that's with Queens, and he's only got links on the way. Ruff transforming some of his Hellions here. Going to be able to get some nice shots off on these drones. Starting to focus fire down a few of them while some Hellbats buying time. I'm loving to see that. And so far, we've seen seven drones go down. Ruff coming on in. Nine going down so far. Getting a bit more damage done there. And uh, yeah, 
forcing out a lot of lings out of Caleb too, pulling his queens out of position here. And suddenly, that's a fair bit of damage. The Zerg is only on 25 workers, and I mean, that's a pretty low point in the economy. So that's pretty good for Ruff. Now, Caleb can't really counterattack because there's this wall for Ruff. And then uh, we may see Ruff come on in with another attack because he's making four Cyclones at a time, which is actually just a pretty impressive production because, I mean, Cyclones aren't cheap. So Ruff's really committing to this. He may make some more Hellions after this, so he'll have Hellbats to buffer for it. And then eventually he may try and push out because he did a big blow to Caleb's economy. And now the question is whether Caleb is going to be ready for the secondary attack. He's going to need Roaches. I mean, how does Ruff have enough gas for this? I mean, he's been... He, I saw at one point in the game he had pretty much no minerals and 400 gas, so he has been banking up, and he's following it up with a third CC. So uh, now here comes Ruff. He's coming on in. He's even bringing some SCVs with this, but going to force units out of Caleb. And, I mean, keep in mind, these are plus one Cyclones, so they're really going to benefit from that. And so uh, it could be a little tough here for Caleb to deal with this. I mean, Creep getting cleaned up, Ruff coming on in. I mean, there's a lot of links here. The Queens have plenty of Transfuse, but these Cyclones are going to put out a lot of damage. We'll see how this round goes, but these few Hellbats are going to help tremendously. I mean, Ruff's in a pretty good spot right now, just playing wonky, catching Caleb off guard. Here come in Lings getting us around, but some of the Cyclones still standing strong, putting out a lot of damage. Three drones have gone down, and Ruff's actually just going to right-click that hatchery. So that goes down. He's producing more Cyclones back at home. Roaches are popping out. Looks like he may lose these units, but he's taken a pretty good trade still. Focusing down Queens. SCV is still repairing. I mean, he may even just win this fight. Nah, I think he will get cleaned up here, but still, nicely done for Ruff. Gonna try and get any more pickoffs he can, but now he's still making four Cyclones back at home, which will help him defend tremendously. He's got up a, a third CC as well, so that's pretty nice for Ruff there. I mean, uh... Yeah, so, I mean, Caleb, he's on 40 workers, but uh, he lost his third CC. He's now just getting in, or his third hatchery. He's now just getting into a lair, so Caleb is really getting roughed here. Yeah, I mean, Ruff just, it's tough to play solid versus a cheesy player. And, I mean, Ruff is pretty much the master of cheese, um, the master of weird builds, and he practices things like this. So, I mean, that, that this is just pretty cool what's going on so far. All right, now, uh... We'll see. I mean, Caleb, he's just going to try and macro up behind this. But Ruff, I mean, he's still making just so many Cyclones. Ruff may actually just mass Cyclones and then attack with plus two attack. And <laughs> I think he's actually just going to do that. Look at all these Cyclones. Ruff securing a third base while this is going on, by the way. We'll see if he makes this a planetary. Oh, and he actually is. I was just wondering whether he just wants that safety. And he'll have it. And I mean, three base versus a uh, three base Zerg. Pretty good situation. Now here comes in Ruff with all these Cyclones. We'll see how's Caleb going to defend. Ruff just making more and more Cyclones behind this, but this is fully seen by Caleb because Ruff did go onto that creep, but I mean, the army supply, it's decent for Caleb, but these Cyclones with plus two are actually going to be so scary. Ruff coming in with the round two attack now. Uh, and I mean, there's a lot of Zerg, so Ruff does need to be careful. Cyclone's pretty good, though. Oh, but he's coming on in. He may just get fully surrounded, but these Cyclones are pretty strong. Ruff now kiting back. SCV is going to be repairing. Corrosive coming on in. Ruff going to eat one of those, but I mean, the Cyclones are just putting out so much damage right now. SCV is repairing, just keeping these units alive, and I think Ruff may have done it. Well played. Ruff takes the first game there. So, uh, there you are, guys. That's the first game. All right, second map is going to be Ruff's pick. It's like Medivax, but for Cyclones. Yeah, I mean, just what a crazy game there. All right, good to see the scene switchers working now. Okay. Yeah, but uh, thanks to everyone for tuning on in. Next map's going to be Acid Plant. Okay. So the question is, will Caleb be able to uh, bring it back here?
Hope you guys are enjoying these matches. I mean, we're going to have a fair bit of StarCraft going on tonight. That was that was a great way to start things off. Always always loving a good old rough game. Conspiracy SC2 has followed. Thank you for the follow, good sir. All right, we're getting the players into the game. Alrighty, both guys are ready. I mean, now guys, I, I don't like to trash talk, but Caleb was talking about how he, I mean, I was discussing the prize pool distribution for these guys, which by the way, I should plug, exclamation mark Macherino. We haven't used up all our codes yet. So please go and use code GAMES2 on that page. We want to max out the prize pool at $75. And then if you guys want to contribute more, there's sponsored quests for free. I'll try not to plug that too much, but support for the tournament is appreciated. Helps us out. But, uh, yeah, now here we are. All right, now I just got to switch this around. Caleb making me uh, manage that thing. All right, but this guy spawned up on the top left-hand side of the map. It's Ruff playing for Team Psystorm, and he's moving out once again. Ruff is a guy who does a lot of low ground wall offs versus Zerg, and he may just be going for the eBay block again. But this guy is spawning down the bottom right hand side of the map. It's uh, Rise Esports, Caleb Arrakis. So we'll see. How is uh, Caleb going to deal with this, or is Ruff going to be able to get in in time? I mean, uh, does the SCV make it in time? I don't think it does. Oh, Ruff's actually just going to be proxying something. Yeah, it's just going to be a standard proxy barracks, I suppose. Or no. He's get You never know with Ruff, guys. So it's just a barracks back at home. We'll see. It could be a factory or just a delayed scout. SCV comes on in here. Oh, it's is it going to be for a, uh, for a bunker, maybe? We'll see. I mean, Ruff's lurking around. He's really making Caleb nervous with this. But yeah, thanks to everyone for tuning on in. Oh, and look at this. Ruff going for an extra barracks. I mean, Cal Caleb sees this. Yeah, he does. So drones are going to be pulled. Ruff, Ruff, Ruff just freestyles it every game. All right. So some drones being forced off the line. I mean, this isn't the best spot. So I think this barracks is going to have to be canceled. Ruff just being a nuisance, I guess. Pulling two drones off the line. Going to send that SCV on home. So not getting anything too cheeky there. But, uh, yeah, barracks going down. That's pretty interesting. Now, uh, we'll see. Rough. Still got that low ground wall left, which I, I think is honestly so cool to do versus Zerg. So, uh, reactor getting up for rough. Now, it is on the exposed size, but this marine is going to be able to work away on this overlord. And, I mean, even if Caleb gets here, rough may just lift off one of his buildings and be able to kill this overlord. Which I think would be pretty cool. And yeah, he's going to be able to do it. This overlord is dead. Just wait a second. Ruff will eventually lift off his factory or something and kill this overlord. Look at this. Factory provides the high ground vision. There we go. A dead overlord. So nice pick off there. And that's a dead overlord. And that's a pretty important overlord. Okay, now... Second CC on the way for Ruff. I mean, the low ground wall off really just lets him expand whenever he likes. I mean... I used to watch a ton of rough streams, but I haven't had the chance to tune in too much lately. By the way, both these guys stream, so I'm sure you can find them and whatnot. I mean, if uh, you're watching the VODs, chances are their links are in the description. But yeah, so rough now going into Hellions this game, just uh, opting for that quick reactor. So this kind of looks like a normal opening here. Rough's a little bit thrown off, but I mean, still pre pretty interesting to watch. And now the question is, how is Ruff going to make this game wonky? I mean, Ruff's also a guy who plays Turtle, too. So Ruff, Ruff sometimes goes for extreme cheeses. So uh, we'll see. But here, okay, here's Ruff, guys. Double starport. All right. Yeah, so Ruff gonna be maybe going for some Banshee shenanigans or something like that. <laughs> we we almost need someone just to sit sit back and just try and predict. Oh, I guess that's kind of my job, but like, I feel as if it could be a full time job trying to predict what Ruff is gonna do in a match. Now Caleb did get this uh, Overlord speed once again. Now this is either gonna be Ravens 
or Banshees. Ruff sometimes has played Raven Hellbat attacks. And so we'll see. What's it going to be here? And it is going to be the Raven style. So this is actually a style that Ruff played a while back and I'm a big fan of. Oh, did Ruff lose his Hellions? I wasn't paying attention. Ruff dived in with his Hellions and lost them. I apologize for that. But yeah, Ruff's going to be playing a Hellion, Hellion style. And believe it or not, guys, Hellion pushes with auto turret support can actually be really good. I did totally miss the Hellion attack. I apologize for that. But, uh, and here goes Ruff. He's really committing to these Ravens. It's going to be Corvid Reactor. He'll make the one Viking to shoo away the Overlords. All right, Viking gonna pop on out. Now, uh, Caleb sees the reactor on this. Or the uh, upgrade researching, pardon me. But it's it's not gonna be for Banshees like you may be thinking. Because look at this, Caleb, he's making four spore crawlers. He's a little bit scared while this is going on, and that's that's a nice eco economic blow by Ruff. But yeah, it's actually just gonna be a third CC for Ruff going into mass Ravens, producing them nonstop. And I mean, Ravens are pretty decent. Auto turrets and... Uh, Anti-armor missiles. Now here comes in the Raven. It's going to try and get some harassment off. It only has enough energy for one, but there goes Ruff going to be working on that queen from the looks of it. And I mean, he will just keep coming on in with these. All right. So, I mean, uh, third CC on the way for Ruff. He's just going to be getting his economy up, producing Ravens whenever he can. And then with all the extra minerals he has, bank them into Hellions. So this this is honestly such a cool style. We might not see this in the GSL, but this is still some pretty high-level StarCraft 2. Another factory with a tech lab on the way, interestingly enough. And more Ravens coming on out for Ruff. Okay, now here comes Ruff with his Hellions. Going to have his Ravens out as well. Going to be able to clean up some of this creep. There are roaches on the way, so uh, the Hellions won't be able to get too much done. And there is only two Ravens here, but Ruff coming on in. Got to be very careful with these Ravens, but uh, there goes some auto turrets going down. Now, these uh, Hellions can push in. There's no workers at the third base, though. Caleb's been taking this threat very seriously. Just going to get creep tumors, maybe pick off a few links. That's really all Ruff is going to get here, but still nicely done denying the creep. The Ravens just not needing to scan to clean up creep is so huge. So, so huge for the... Uh, for the Terran player. Corruptors are now on the way, interestingly enough, for Caleb. Now, this is this is an interesting choice because, uh, now, did Ruff see the Spire? Where's that Spire? Ruff did see the Spire, so he's getting up missile turrets in quite a few locations, and he's starting a Thor. Okay, so he will have some anti-air, and it is just going to be Corruptors. They'll be able to chase down the Ravens, but in smaller numbers, I mean, Ravens, auto turrets, they're pretty good. Okay, now, uh, Gleal Reconstitution is on the way here for Caleb, so he's gonna have these roaches in order to defend from Hellions, but he's committed. And, uh, the main thing really is that Caleb is on three bases. He's reaching this strong Zerg style, and it may be tough for Ruff to macro to this. He's getting up a planetary at the third base. Lots of missile turrets and stuff. Now, we'll see. I mean, Ruff not sharking around with his uh, auto turrets is a little bit concerning here with his ravens. But uh, he is staying back at home, maybe worried about those mutas. But it's actually just a few corruptors, some roaches. Meanwhile, Caleb getting up an infestation pit, getting up a fourth base. So macroing up, I like this from Caleb. One one for the roaches now on the way. I mean, uh, we'll see how this is going to work out. Ruff's committing to more factories too, so he's going to transition into the ground mech. Still making ravens, though, getting plus one, so... I mean, we're just going to have to see how this is going to work. He did need Thors in case it was Mutalisk. But eventually, he will have to go into tanks. I mean, this is going to be a scary Zerg, though. Caleb really is just macroing up. Going to be able to produce units pretty quickly soon. Alrighty. Rough scanning, trying to see what his opponent's gone for, not getting too much information there. He's got these Hellions that are going to be moving around, these three Corruptors that Caleb made, I thought. Yeah, just the three Corruptors. There's plan. I mean, they're not going to get too much done. 
They're gonna run right on into this. They will get a nice scout though. Rough sees the corruptors, and it's gonna be Swarm Host, interestingly enough, out of Caleb now. He's only getting out a few for now, but here comes in Rough at the Nat, or at the third base, gonna pick off a queen. He's got plus one on these Hellions, gets eight drones and gets on out, so that's pretty nice for Rough. Dealing a bit of damage there, slowing down Caleb. Now with these Swarm Host on the way, we'll see how Rough's gonna deal with this. I imagine Caleb's gonna wanna get out some more at some point, but he's busy replacing those drones. Corruptors come on in, get shown the door by the turrets. The Swarm Post are pretty good versus Mech these days, and it's gonna be 2-2, but we'll see. I mean, it's hard to know. How does how does Rave, how do Ravens add to the versus Mech equation? I mean, Ruff may be able to go for a push, dare I say, because, eh, maybe not. There's 20 roaches. Defending versus this uh, Swarm Host wave is gonna be a bit tough. I think I'd like to, wow, eight Supply Depots on the way for Ruff. Not wanting to get supply blocked anytime soon. I think we should be seeing a fourth or a yeah fourth base out of rough pretty soon. Caleb getting up a lot of spines at his bases, defending from those hellion runbys. I like that. Now we're rough. Just scout now, but he's got creep on his door. I mean, he has ravens and hellions. I think he should be cleaning up this creep. That's. Now heading towards his fourth base, but here comes in the first Locust wave. The planetary will help out. Locusts are going to be able to land on this, and tanks are not sieged. Now some corrosive Vile is going to go down as well, getting some nice connections there. Ruff has the Ravens. He may be able to chase this army. We'll see. Lock it in with these uh, auto turrets, perhaps. He's throwing some down now. And now he does kind of lock this army in with these auto turrets. So, uh, yeah, with these auto turrets, getting some nice damage done. Damage done. Gonna be able to work away on the Corruptors too, so rough getting, I mean, that was an interesting trade there. Online strategy has followed, thank you very much. I will be turning off that uh, alert though. Don't want it plinging during the games. Pop-up's fine, plinging's not. All right. Now, uh, I mean, Ruff sees that there's a fifth base for the Zerg, and Caleb, I mean, he lost a few units there, but he's on a very good economy versus Ruff, who's, I mean, Ruff, dare I say, may just die to these swarm hosts because he's down on supply by a pretty significant number. Here comes in the next wave. He does have the Hell Bats now. I mean, the Thors are going to be pretty exposed, though. Alrighty, auto turrets going down. But, uh, I mean, the Locust didn't get too much done there. And Caleb gets forced back, rough unseaging. Maybe gonna want to repair some of these units, but he hasn't started a fourth base, but okay, here's rough stuff. He's on two star, well, he's actually made more starports, so he's planning a Banshee transition here. Mass Cloak Banshee with plus one. Here's four Banshees on the way at a time for rough. All right, now, uh, Ruff's moving on out with this army, it looks like. Now, whether these swarm hosts are going to be able to get something done, they're coming off cooldown, so this base will be exposed here. And uh, suddenly, there's going to be a big wave of locusts heading towards Ruff's base, and I mean, he moved out to clean up that creep, but suddenly, his base is going to be in trouble here. Raven's coming on in. Corruptors are focusing them down, though, and those are pretty expensive, and looks like Ruff will be losing that base. Auto turrets go down for days, but that's a pretty big blow to Ruff's economy. And now, I mean, he's got a decent army, but... Uh, losing that base is a pretty significant blow. We'll just have to wait and see what these Banshees are going to get done versus Ruff. Okay, I mean, uh... Ruff making three more Banshees. I mean, once you have seven or eight, that's when you really hit the hit the uh, harassment levels. But uh, Caleb has a few spores at some of his... Or he doesn't actually have at this base, so... We'll see what Ruff is able to get done, but I mean, he's not in the best situation. There's there's no lying about that. Tank's getting some shots off on the Ravagers, but Caleb's just uh, really just playing the solid Zerg style, which it's going to be tough for Ruff to shut down. I mean, he will have these Banshees, though. Ooh, that's a misrallied Thor. You don't want to be losing that Ruff. Okay, he's turning around. Oh, he does get caught, though. Not getting away there. So Ruff trying to rebuild his third base, but Caleb is on five, and now <laughs> Ruff's really waiting for a lot of Banshees here. This will be a bit of a surprise, and I mean, it's, I mean, there's just the Corruptors, but we'll see. Is Ruff just going to be able to, like, wipe this army? Oh, his base is under attack, though. Actually forces another cancel. That's huge for Caleb. Uh, so we're really just waiting to see what are these uh, Banshees going to get done. Lots of auto turrets going down, which is going to help clean up this army. Well, 
at least force it back, but Ruff's still taking pretty big losses. It's really all on the two base Banshee play here. With the third base being cancelled again, Ruff's not in a great economic situation. Might want to float over his third base at this point. Corruptor's sharking around too. Thor firing away, pushing this army back. I mean, Caleb doesn't know this is coming. <laughs> How many Banshees is Ruff going to pull? He's at 12 right now. Okay, and apparently 12 is the magic number. He's now moving on in. He scans, sees where the Corruptors are, may adjust his course. He's actually just going to cloak and maybe pick off all the Swarm Host here. He comes on in. There's no Overseer for Caleb, so Ruff's going to be able to begin working on these, but he's going to need some good damage done with these Banshees, but he's picking off a lot of the Swarm Host. Caleb has a pretty huge bank, though, but, I mean, these Banshees doing a lot of damage. There's Hydras on the way. Now the Overseers are done, so the Banshees will be forced away. But Ruff can sort of shark around with these, maybe try and look for some bases. I'd think he should split them up at this point because the Corruptors are in pursuit, but he's going to be heading towards this fifth base, maybe able to just pick it off, which would be nice for him. And he's going to begin focusing that down. These are plus one Banshees. Now the Banshees will have to get away from these Corruptors, though. One of them does get picked off. Oh, looks like at least two will die there. And oh, the good, good angle for Caleb. So some of these Banshees are going down, and I mean... This is still a pretty scary Zerg army. Caleb, that did damage. It was a nice element of surprise for Ruff, but I think he needed a bit more. Now, Ruff's just going to push on in with the Swarm Host dead. I mean, there's 15 Hydras on the way, though, and now he needs to get he needs to siege up right now. Banshee's engaging these Hydras, but there's just too much Zerg here. I think Ruff is going to have to tap out. Banshee's cloaked, but there's an Overseer. Thors are now all alone to deal with this army, and they are not going to be able to do that. So Caleb going to tie up the series one-to-one. -one. All right, I mean, Ruff, Ruff is dead. M make no mistake about that. I mean, he's got some auto turret harassment going down, but he needs a lot more than that. He needs an army, and he doesn't have that. Here comes in Caleb. He's going to move on in for the W. I mean, that was interesting play from Ruff, but a little bit anticlimactic, dare I say, with those Hellions just dying there. GG gets called. Caleb Arrakis ties it up, one-to-one. -one. Now, this is a best-of-seven, guys, so got a few more matches to go. But uh, yeah, thanks to uh, you guys who have been following. Okay, rough picking blue shift as his next map. Apparently I left Steam open. I am sorry, guys. I do apologize. Alright, we're loading on into the next map. Yeah, mech, uh, mech turtling at a pro level these days, not really viable. Ever, ever since the Viper became a thing, turtling with mech has not really been an option. Well, ever since the good Viper became a thing with the parasitic bomb. I mean, there's a lot of good mech styles, but you really want to be hitting, like, a composition that knocks your opponent out. And Ultimate Zerg does pretty much win versus Ultimate Terran. Alrighty. We'll just make sure these guys are ready, then we'll load on into the next match. Thanks to everyone for tuning on in. Make sure to uh, check out that Match Arena. We really want to use all those codes. So, uh, exclamation mark, Match Arena. Alrighty, both these are, uh, we are waiting for Caleb to be ready, and now he is. So we're loading on in. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you guys just go to the Match Arena, use the code GAMES2, then uh, I think we've probably only got, like, not sure exactly how many, but maybe, like, ten more to go or so, and uh, if you guys do that, it really helps us secure another event. Macharino does help out the tournament. But we're loading on in, and this best of five, it's tied up one-to-one. -one. Okay. Let me just uh, make sure that Caleb is in the right spot here. Being the uh, nuisance that he is. <laughs> Alright, but it's a best of seven, guys. Currently tied one-to-one. -one. Spawning down the bottom left-hand side of the map. It's the Terran. It's rough. And now, up in the top right-hand side of the map, it's Caleb Barakas. So we'll see who's going to be able to take this. Rough once again going for that low-ground wall-up. I mean, not many Terrans do this versus Zerg at all.
Now it looks like this game, Caleb will be going for an early pool. But I think the low ground wall off for Ruff, assuming that he scouts, it's actually safe for him. But uh, unless he goes for like straight into a reactor or something, because then you know you can't lift. Okay. So, oh, Ruff thinking about a second Rax, and he is. So two Rax play coming out of Ruff. I mean, it could be Reapers, dare I say? I mean, I'm not sure it's going to be Reapers, but we'll see. Second gas is on the way here. So Ruff definitely playing something cheesy again, and I'm always excited to see what's it going to be. Okay. It's a rough looking to maybe build. It's just going to be a marine for now versus Caleb's early pool. This will help him. I mean, this in theory could help out rough. It really depends what he's going to be making. He's going right into a reactor on one of them. He's got that solid low ground wall off. Starting up another reactor. Okay, it's going to be reactor reapers. I've seen rough do this build. It will be reactor reapers versus a... Uh, Versus Zerg here. Now, Caleb's moving out with his Lings, though. We'll see if Ruff puts his Marine back behind his wall. You really gotta do that. Otherwise, uh, these Lings could just get these add-ons here. And that would be a pretty big blow to Ruff. Okay. Now, well, here comes in the Lings. Now, there's not too many, so the Reapers should be able to get in, out in time. Now, Caleb sees this. He's got to be thinking, what are you doing, you madman, with double reactor? No, nope, it's actually going to be for mass reapers here, coming out of rough. He'll get plus one on his engineering bay as well, so he's going to be having upgrades for him. The one marine doing his job shooing this way, but Caleb is going to have to deal with mass reapers. The eBay being built out on the map is pretty interesting here for rough. I'm not sure what that's about exactly. Or is he going to build like a CC here? Okay, rough is starting to wall off on Caleb's side of the map. I guess that this is this is interesting play here out of rough. This SCV will get caught. eBay's researching plus one. Uh, he is going to lose the SCV. So, I dare I say this may have been a planetary fortress rough, because rough is known to do mass reapers into planetary fortress. We'll see though. But plus one's on the way. Mass reapers. I mean, it's kind of coming back into the meta. Now here comes in the reapers. There's lots of queens for Caleb though, so not enough reapers for rough just yet. He's just going to be producing these non-stop, though. Now, he didn't send out another SCV. Okay, there's two actually on the way. So, I think Ruff is planning to do the uh, Planetary Reaper build. And for those of you that don't know, Ruff is the kind of guy who likes to build a, build a command center, float it into his opponent's base, and then try and land it and turn it into a uh, Planetary Fortress. Which really uh, throws his opponents into disarray a little bit. Sometimes it just falls flat on its face. We'll see. Reaper's coming on up. Ruff needs to be careful. Throws down a grenade, but doesn't really get too much there. I mean, the plus one's really going to help him out here, but... Uh, Caleb just staying on two bases, just making a lot of units to defend this. Ruff producing Reapers still. Alrighty, CC on the way back at home for Ruff, so he can eventually transition. I mean, Caleb is on a very low drone count. We'll just see what these Reapers are able to get done. I mean, as long as Ruff doesn't get caught out, I mean, Reapers with their grenades, once they have the plus one, that'll really help. He's going to start cleaning up creep here, but if he is going to want to land a planetary fortress, he's going to need to be able to clean up the creep on the high ground. Either that or he's just going to put it at the front of his opponent's base. We'll see. I mean, Ruff going to have to micro back with these Reapers. He's not throwing down grenades in front of himself too soon, so he is going to lose some of these Reapers. He's actually getting caught and going to lose a good number of them here, so nice cleanup there for Caleb. Apparently, Ruff's shenanigans just being shut down completely there. Now Ruff's going to have this planetary fortress, but he's not going to have too many Reapers in order to push with it. Now, uh, planetary going to be, or CC, can eventually float on over. It's just part of this wall for now. But uh, there's not too, there's not enough Reapers really for Ruff in order to be able to push this. And he actually needs to keep the eBay alive, or else he won't be able to morph it into a planetary. So he's going to need to start another one of those back at home, I think. I mean, Caleb's just doing a good job shutting this build down. Ruff continuously making Reapers still. SCVs are loaded into the command center. I don't know what Ruff is going to do with this. It's just continuously flying here. It's got nowhere to land. I mean, I'm not sure what Ruff is doing with this uh, CC. 
Is it just scouting at this point? I mean, I think it would have been worth it to fly it back home towards the third or something. But Ruff is going to lose this CC. Reaper is going to continuously kite, but this build isn't really working versus Caleb. Uh, Ruff continuously retreating, getting some good grenades versus the Lings, but there's just a few too many, and Ruff has lost a few too many Reapers this game. He's lost 10 to 30 Lings, and I mean, you cannot be losing Reapers left and right. All right, so uh, looking pretty rough for Ruff here. I mean, uh, more Roaches, Ravagers on the way. Caleb may just counter push. I think Ruff needs to maybe go into Bio or something behind this. But uh, that's going to be a little bit too late. I mean, Worker counts even, but Caleb's got a pretty scary army here. All right, now Caleb is going to be coming across the map to counterattack. Ruff has these Reapers, but there's so many links here. I think they're actually just going to get caught, and that's, pre that's pretty much Ruff dead, right? Like, these Reapers get caught, and then Caleb counterattacks and wins. Yes, sir, I think that's going to be the case. Ruff gets surrounded. He's making four starports, because why not, in the typical Ruff fashion? Okay, so... Ruff going to be going into Mass Banshee once again. He's starting up a ton of bunkers here, which I think is a correct response because Caleb's coming with everything he's got. He's really going to be committing to this all in. Now, I mean, three bunkers with just a handful of Marines. I mean, it's a start to defend this, right? It's really going to buy Ruff time. He's now going to be going into tons and tons of starports here. Ruff hasn't been making any more Marines, though. He's saving up for his Banshees right now. I think he's going to need to pull some SCVs to defend this. Uh... I mean, the bunkers will buy him time. There's no doubt about that. The wall also buying rough time. He's making some marines still. Okay, now, uh... Ruff is actually going to pull up to the high ground, it looks like, or just going to try and pick off this overlord, but I think he's got bigger fish to fry right now. He does want to deny the scout, and Caleb doesn't see the starports here. So he's not aware what else Ruff is going for. Ruff is just going to try and hold with these bunkers. Lings are going to run on in. They're actually going to run right on by. I mean, not a wall there. Banshees are on the way. Caleb will scout this. SCV is going to go for this round there. So, I mean, Ruff is going to have Banshees on the way. There's Cloak on the way as well. So, Mass Banshee, and I mean, it's not like Caleb has a lair or anything. He's going to try and break this, but this is four bunkers. Oh, those Marines actually die there. That's a pretty big deal because, I mean, the Corrosive Biles just... The bunker died, and then the Marines died instantly. But Caleb not having enough to break this, so Ruff lives on, and now he's going into Mass Banshee play here. We'll see what he's going to be able to get done. There's a Spore on the way at the third base. Lots of Queens out for Caleb, but, I mean, Caleb committed to the counterattack pretty hard, so Ruff not in the worst situation in the world, dare I say. I mean, as far as... <laughs> it's just such a wonky game here. This is why I had to do this show match, guys. Now, Ruff has to rebuild his barracks because he lost one of them, so he can't actually make a factory. He's coming in with his Banshees, maybe going to get a Queen. Will get said Queen, but uh, there's so many Queens here for Caleb. I mean, if Caleb just started walking these across the map, I'm not sure what Ruff would do. But more Banshees on the way. Doesn't have a Fusion Core, though, so no Hyperflight Rotors for him. You need a, you need a Fusion Core for Hyperflight Rotors, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. But I've, I've never done a Hyperflight Rotors rush, so in uh, StarCraft, by the time I usually go into Mass Banshees, I've usually already got a Fusion Core. But uh, we'll see. I mean, Ruff lurking around with these. He may be able to find something here and there. I mean, Caleb's now macroing up, so his economy will surge ahead. This Ling counterattack is going to be pretty good for Caleb here. Ruff did wall off his high ground, though, so he can't always raise those depots. Now, here comes the Banshees. They're going to find a Spore Crawler. I mean, uh, they will be sh shooed back, though, and there is a ton of Spores here for Caleb. He took, He's taken this very seriously. And now he's following it up with a Spire. Banshees will find these Lings here. Okay, yeah, you no longer require a Fusion Force, so Ruff could be getting that at some point here. There it is. Now, uh, Spire is on the way here for, for Caleb Arrakis. Now... I mean, in theory, Mutas just shut this down and when the game rough scans, he sees this, so he can now go into, say, Liberators or Banshees or uh, Vikings. I think Liberators are going to be the right call. Yeah, there we go. Mass Liberators are now going to be on the way for Ruff. He's still getting Hyperflight Rotors, though, so maybe he can shark around with his Banshees, get some pickoffs, and then hold, just going to straight Sky Terran. Ruff's coming on in with these Banshees once again, but there's no fourth base or anything for him to pick off. He maybe can sneak around into the main base. Uh, he's going to run right on into the Spore Crawler, I guess, just try and pick it off. 
and that is what he's gonna try and do. Gets one of them, but now all these queens are here, so these banshees, they gotta get on out of there. Transfuse for day is gonna be dumped on into this, and if Ruff loses this, maybe he's just gonna go for this fire, but it's finished building, so it can just be transfused here. Now these banshees being chased down, so Ruff taking pretty big losses here. Meanwhile, 11 mutas are on the way. These banshees can maybe get a drone. GG, though, Ruff types out. He knows he's pretty much done for. Yeah, didn't have an extra CC on the way. All right, so Caleb takes the 2-1 lead. <laughs> yeah, thanks to everyone for tuning on in, though. I hope you guys are enjoying the match. Now, uh, next map is also Ruff's pick, since we are doing loser pick. And uh, after this, we are going to have Supernova. You guys are enjoying this, please go use that Matcherino code. Would be appreciated. Uh, next map is Ruff's pick. Then we will be, after this, we'll be having Supernova. Supernova versus Puck, which will be an interesting TVP. Alright, but yeah, now, uh, yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, please go to the Matrino, use the code GAMES2. It's completely free, adds to the prize pool for free. Make, sh make sure we hit that goal. Otherwise, feel free to leave a follow and whatnot, just waiting for the map, and it's going to be Dreamcatcher here. Ruffs, we'll see if he brings the comeback or if the hole he's in gets deeper. I mean, I mean, the game is like, there's been chances for Ruff. Caleb's just playing pretty solid, though, versus the shenanigans. Okay. We are loading on in, getting the players ready. Okay. Just waiting for these guys. Hope you guys are enjoying these matches. Just just a nice little show match here. A best of seven, a Terran versus Zerg. Bound to be a crazy one since we have rough in it. And I certainly will be doing more show matches, guys. In the future, so feel free to leave a follow. Tomorrow, I will also be covering WESG, the USA qualifiers. These, those guys are going to be competing for 2000 bucks each. There's going to be four players, and two of them are going to walk away with two grand and a chance to win more. A lot more, actually, but... Alrighty. Okay, this guy is spawning down the bottom right-hand side of the map. He's down one to two. It's rough. And his opponent seems to be shutting down any further shenanigans. It's Caleb Arrakis. Playing for Rise Esports. Ruff once again going for this low ground wall off. I mean, Dreamcatcher, a bit of a different map. We'll see how Caleb's going to open up, though. Looks like it will be a uh, pool first from Caleb, though. Going to be like uh, that 16 pool. I guess that was like a 14 or a 15 pool, but Ruff going for that wall off once again. Then we'll see. I mean, I doubt it's going to be Reapers on this map. That build sort of did just fall flat on its face for Ruff. The fact that he lost those Reapers early on, because I've seen Ruff make that build work versus high-level players. But uh, Caleb is pretty solid, and he was confident going into this. But we'll see what Ruff's able to do. Hatchery is on the way for Caleb. And uh, we can see some links, see that earlier queen start. And it will be a uh, speed for Caleb now. Interestingly enough, he's not pulling out a gas yet. So dare I say he could go for something like a Baneling bust? 
It, I mean, it always could be. Meanwhile, on rough side of the map, he's going for that reactor. He's getting out that marine. Now, I'm not exactly sure how the math works on this. A low ground wall off versus a 16 pool, whether rough's add on will be done in time for the lings. Because two lings are coming on in now. But it is just that. Just two lings for Caleb. Not committing to, like, the six or anything. Ruff's got that low ground wall off. And Ruff's going for a CC right away this game. So, uh, as far as Ruff goes, a pretty standard opening. Likely just going to be going into Hellions or something, if I had to guess. And that wall up going up there. Barracks can fly away somewhere else. And it will be Hellions coming out of Ruff. So Caleb's Ling's not going to get anything done. They're just coming into the natural. I mean, unless Ruff lowers the wall, but... I doubt that's going to happen. Hellions may actually find these guys as they run right on up because Caleb doesn't have all the information here. So these lings should be caught by these Hellions, and that'll be nice for Ruff. Going to shut those down. Now move across the map. We'll see. And now in... Okay, Ruff. Oh, man. what's? Oh, is it going to be a marine tank push following this up? Oh, this is interesting because Ruff, he's now going onto the, uh, onto the tech lab there, and I think it is going to be a siege tank and then just marine production. Uh, it's a Hellion. A single Hellion, I guess Ruff waiting for gas. We'll see if he cancels that, but Caleb did get that pneumatized carapace once more. And okay, it's double factory marine production. Is it going to be tons of marines, tons of help? That's, I honestly have no idea what it's going to be, guys. This is an interesting one. Ruff did sack a Hellion for a scout from the looks of it. But didn't get in too far. Now our marines are going to shut down this overlord for Caleb. Losing that is a bit of a blow. Don't want to be losing an over with that early. Now, Ruff he is going to be making a siege tank here. He's going into a reactor behind it, so it looks like it will be a tank Hellbat Marine push, which is going to be an interesting one. Now, a uh, third base is on the way for Caleb, though, so we'll see how he's going to make this hold. He's on 29 workers, and he's making some more. So maybe he's not taking this as seriously as he should be. I mean, he scouted the double factory. He's coming on in with another overlord, which I like to see. Follow-up scouts are always good. Marine Hellbat tank sounds disgusting. I mean, this build, it works. It's actually such a strong push. There's not too many, like, early game pushes for Terran versus Zerg. I mean, there's the classic Hellbats, but, like, as far as other ones go. But, I mean, Ruff makes this kind of push. It can work. Caleb going into Roaches, but he's made a lot of drones. So, we'll see how Ruff's push is going to work. If we look at the army supply, Ruff is definitely ahead right now. And, I mean, Marines versus just, say, Lings, they're not terrible without Stim. And now here comes in the Hellions, here comes in the tanks. There is an armory on the way, so Ruff's really going in on this. Now uh, this push, it's going to be interesting. SCV's coming on too. Now it is uh, it is Dreamcatcher, so he does have to take the north because of those uh, rocks blocking the path. But, I mean, here comes in here comes in Ruff. Caleb breaking down these rocks is going to force Ruff to go the other way. Uh, Hellions may be able to... Nah, Ruff is going to have to go towards the third base here. Now, uh, Ruff scans, sees the double gas, doesn't see any roaches or anything just yet, but, I mean, he's going to be able to pick off an overlord there, which is nice. That's going to stifle the production for Caleb, and suddenly the third base is under fire here. I mean, yeah, I don't think Caleb can save this at all. I mean, he can try, but there's tanks, there's hellbats. I mean, Ruff just going to pick this off. I mean, maybe Caleb goes with the Brutlings right now, but there's actually so much Terran right now. Caleb pushing out into this. I think it's a bit of a mistake. Ruff may be able to unsiege and keep on going. He's going to find an Overlord here, which is very nice for him. Caleb's production has been stifled. And I mean, if Ruff gets another Overlord, Caleb will be critically supply blocked. Here comes Ruff. There goes another Overlord. Uh, there goes two more Overlords. So suddenly Caleb, he's got nine Roaches on the way, but that's really going to be it for a while. Ruff scanning, getting these tanks up so he has the high ground vision, but picking off so many units. These Marines just so much bulk in this army. The Hellbats buffering. And now Ruff has the high ground vision. I don't think Caleb's going to be able to break this. And I think Ruff has just locked him in his natural and is just going to be able to kill him. Roaches are dying. So much damage from the tanks. Marines, there's just so many of them being a buffer here. The tanks picking off 10 drones. And suddenly it's looking pretty rough for Caleb. I mean, he, they're even on workers still, but I mean, he's got to clean this up and these tanks doing so much damage. If Ruff gets the hatchery, that's pretty much it. Marines are kiting back. Ravager's stepping for the tanks. Not having high ground vision for a second there, so they are going to get cleaned up from the looks of it. Ruff coming on in with a few more units, but 12 workers fell. This tank even coming on in, too. I think that is going to be the end of the push for Ruff, but dealt a nice bit of damage there to Caleb. He's now getting into a starport back at home, and he's got a decent bit of production, so... The damage for Ruff, dare I say that was enough, even scanning, seeing that there's no other base for him. 
And uh, suddenly Caleb, he's gonna have to expand here. He's going into a lair. And oh, is Ruff gonna follow this up with a Thor drop? Maybe he's worried about Mutas or something, but if he does follow this up with like a double Thor drop, that would be so sick. Such a strong push for Ruff. That's just, th this is why I wanted this show match. I mean, just crazy shenanigans like that. Caleb, I mean, that's such an odd push, right? Because Caleb thought a normal Terran push, you'd have a bit more time to drone. But, uh, and it's not like it was a super rush. Ruff denied the scouting decently. I mean, well, Caleb did scout, but maybe not seeing how much of a threat that was. Now, uh, Ruff will be going for that uh, double medivac Thor drop. Here comes in a scout there. Looks like the Thor may be able to pick off this Overlord. I mean, Caleb has lost a lot of Overlords in this game. He's lost six Overlords, man. That's pretty huge. I mean, that's 600 minerals right there. Ruff now planning a Hellion run, but Caleb's not really mining at his base yet, and he should be ready for this from the looks of it, anticipating this. Hellion's going to come on in. They're going to see this. They're actually going to run right on in. Maybe they can get a Creep Tumor. That's nice, but that's really all they're going to get for now. Ruff going to have out this double medivac Thor drop, which will be pretty great, though. He's got a third base on the way, getting plus one. He's got a decent bit of production, too. So suddenly, I mean, Ruff, he's going to have these Thor drops, and it's tough for a Zerg player without any real tech in order to deal with, with uh, Thor drops, assuming Ruff micro as well. Here comes in this Overlord once more. Ruff doesn't have any anti-air to deal with it, though. Double Vikings on the way, actually. Will help clean that up, but double Thor on the way. <laughs> On the way to uh, Caleb's base, I mean, Ruff may be able to get the natural, although he is heading towards the main. He's going to see this base get up, and he can just cancel this right out. Look at this. He may even get the kill. Is Caleb going to react? Uh, he, no, he doesn't. Nice kill there for Ruff. I mean, those Thors put out a lot of damage. Now, Ruff going for the 1 2. Wants to get in at this third base. Caleb's reacting on both fronts. Now, Thor is going to unload, pick off a queen, going to start popping off some drones. And I mean, Ruff can micro this. There's not enough roaches here to deal with two Thors. Caleb's army, it's split up, but not in a good amount there. I mean, these Thors just getting some nice pickoffs there. Some more roaches do pop out, but Ruff getting some nice trades here with these Thors. And then, as long as he micros well, he can just pick up and get on out. I'm going to find these drones, actually, since there's no anti air, but. Now he's heading towards the natural. There's the one queen there. So Ruff just playing so interesting here. I hope you guys are enjoying this, these matches because I certainly am. Now, all the VODs will be on my YouTube if you do want to study the games. But, oh man, Ruff just teasing Caleb with these Thors dropping. Going to pick off an Overlord from the looks of it. That doesn't quite get it. We'll be able to get it now, though. There we go. And now Ruff, he's getting up a third base. He's uh, just getting up a lot of tanks, a lot of Hellions now. Denying some creep. So I'm loving this play by Ruff here. Now Caleb is getting into an infestation pit, but that's not going to be the anti-air he needs to deal with these drops. Maybe just planning on going for a Locust, but Ruff's in a pretty good spot, dare I say. I mean, he could do with a few more SCVs as he saturates his third base. He uh, does need to transfer some there, but... I mean, still pretty nice. Oh, Caleb, nicely done, though. Gets these queens out here to this pocket to keep the creep alive. Thor's for Ruff. They're back at home. Looks like they were busy chasing an Overseer. Gets that. Nicely done. Maybe he'll just repair these and then move on out. We'll see. Another Overlord bites the dust. We do need a counter for this. We've seen seven Overlords die and one Overseer. I do apologize if there is any background noise, though, guys. But, uh... All right. Now... Here comes in Caleb with some Roach Ravager, but there's a Planetary. I mean, the tank's not in perfect position for Ruff. Here comes in the Zerg, so he's going to have to pick off this Missile Turret. And then uh, SCVs can repair this. We'll see. Is Ruff reacting? Okay, he is in time, but Prosobile going to deal a lot of damage. CC stays alive, though. And now Ruff, he's got a ton of Hellbats loaded up into these Medivacs. And suddenly, I think he may just be moving out to counter push. I mean, his army, his supply's not that good, but it is just Roach Ravager. Some Locust are on the way, but, I mean, the sort of battle mech style is decent versus this. Now, uh, Ruff's army does, I mean, it is pathing a little weird because of the Dreamcatcher. Well, because of these rocks on Dreamcatcher. Ruff getting up plus two, so he may be hitting a pretty nice timing here. Getting up a fourth base on as, as well. Now, I mean, uh, moving out like this is pretty risky for him. He's got a ton of tanks, though. The question is, how much damage are these Locusts going to be able to do? If Caleb gets a nice engagement on this, it could go very well for him. But Ruff sees these. If he can get a good position here, it will go very good for him. 
lots of tanks are going to be able to get Siege done up here. And he's just going right for it. Tanks now sieging up. Ruff getting ready to intercept this. Dropping these Hellbats, but uh, they actually need to be on the ground to help with this. He loads some of them up, drops some more of them, but Caleb's coming in from the side. But these tanks are still putting out a lot of damage on this Road Ravager. Uh, good Corrosive Bile's connected, though. Ruff, I mean, he's getting a bit of damage done, but it looks like that he is going to be getting cleaned up here. Uh, Thor's going to try and make it happen. Vikings landing. These Hellbats getting a bit of damage done, picking off some of the Swarm Host here, which are actually on hold position, not running away. But uh, Thor, Ruff, I mean, he's still got some units on the ground, so a decent push, but he lost a few SCVs with that. He really committed. His army was reset. And, I mean, he didn't get too much damage done there. So nicely done by Caleb defending that. He's on four bases. He's got the Swarm Host. So Ruff could be having a tough time here. He's now going into Cyclones, but they're not the best versus these Hellbats. Or versus these Locusts, pardon me. Alright. Now, well, Ruff, I mean, he's got up a few tanks still. He's getting up a fourth base as well. Tons of Cyclones on the way, just mass Cyclones, and he's getting the uh, Rapid Fire Launchers for his anti-air, but, I mean, uh, a lot of Roach Ravager. It's going to be tough just for Cyclones to deal with it. Ruff's getting up a Raven as well for an anti-armor missile. But, uh, I mean, uh, this base for Ruff could be in a bit of trouble here. It's this Zerg sharking around. Ravager's coming on in here. They're going to be able to uh, maybe cross the ball down. Some building's going to settle for a gas. But Ruff's just making seven Cyclones at a time. This is just crazy. I don't know how well this is going to work. I mean, but uh, Planetary's forced to cancel there. And then there's the Swarm Host. Locust Wave coming in for Caleb. There's tanks at this Planetary, but Ruff's really going to have to repair in time right now. Oh, uh, here comes the Zerg. SCVs weren't pre-pulled, so Tank's going to be able to cross the ball this down. Ruff's suddenly going to be losing on out here. Now his base has fallen. I mean, his base to the right has been denied, and suddenly he's just got a ton of Cyclones that are actually loaded up into Medivacs here. So Ruff's going to be going for a drop with this, but the counterattack's going to be pretty good. Now, uh, cross the ball going to teach that Viking the meaning of pain. Cyclones are going to land. They're plus three Cyclones, or they will be in a minute here, but plus two Cyclones still pretty good. And I mean, he can just focus down these bases. Going to get an infestation pit like it's nothing. Going to focus down the hatchery and now maybe go into the main base. Caleb's actually forced to pull back, which is pretty good for Ruff right now. Loading up into these medivacs. Going to unload now. Just abusing the mobility of his opponent. Going to shred some workers here. Maybe right click on that Larry. He's actually going to get the Roach Warren next. Uh, doesn't actually get it though. I'm losing a Cyclone or two, but now Ruff can actually land off at this base, and I mean, Cyclones deal a lot of damage here, so we'll see if Ruff's able to get some nice damage. Uh, picking off a lot of units, and he's actually killed 23 workers, 26. Loads up into the Medivacs, one of them died though, so Cyclone is left behind, but now here comes Ruff dropping into the main base. Caleb still doesn't have a lot of anti-air, he's making some Hydras now, but he's going to be losing uh, losing some more tech structures here, losing his spawning pool, as Roachhorn did survive. Another Medivac does go down, but... Uh, Ruff is going to have to get on out of there, but fantastic uh, time buying there for Ruff, who back at home, by the way, just he's really just turning out Cyclones, but he does need to take a new base, and I think he needs to transition into Mass Hellions with this, because he's got a ton of minerals here. He is going to be able to land this base, maybe want to float over his main or something, because that's pretty much mined out, but, I mean, he did a ton of damage to Caleb there, but the question is, was it enough at the end of the day? All right, now while uh, this planetary is getting up for rough, I mean, uh, Cyclone's dropping. They're actually going to get the fifth base for Caleb. Going to be able to lift on up and get out of there. Now going to be going into that dead space once again. Caleb's got to be ready for this. Ruff sees the queens coming in, though. Not going to be... Wants to get out of there. I don't think he wants to commit to this. He could lose his medivacs, but it's actually just queens. So Ruff's going to be able to get on top of this. Going to focus down the new spawning pool. Picks off a queen there. Uh, does lose a Cyclone, but we'll be able to get on out. So Ruff just keeping the harassment on his opponent. A Locust Wave incoming, but, I mean, it's got a lot of travel time here. It will get into the main base, I think. But Ruff, I mean, as long as he has this planetary up, he has an incoming, then he has a chance. Now, he's still just making Cyclones. I would like to see a lot of Hellions coming out of him. And we will want to see a Worker transfer, too. So that Locust Wave not getting a lot done for Caleb. Ruff now coming in for a counterattack. He's actually going to try and hit his opponent hard, and I mean, there's a lot of Hydras and uh, there's a lot of Hydras and Ravagers here, but there is two Ravens. They need to be careful. The Ruff can no oh, Ruff losing the Ravens is huge. They were going to make that push, and now there is suddenly no way in hell these Cyclones are going to be able to push. I mean, the Cyclones are actually really good when the Zerg army is hit with anti-armor missile, but that's gone for Ruff, and now he's in a lot of trouble. This counterattack's actually so scary. 
I mean, he got another base there, but he's being forced back, and suddenly I don't think he has the answer for this. I mean, if he fights into this planetary and Ruff repairs it, this could go good for him. I mean, uh, planetary helping out. Crosabal's going down, but planetary's going to stand strong. I mean, Caleb Arrakis is over committing here. Ruff losing a few more SCVs, but if we look at the worker count, Ruff's actually ahead in the economy. But losing those Ravens was actually such a huge blow. Caleb picking those off was so huge for him. Ruff's now going to want to counterattack once again, but Locust Wave coming on in. I think Ruff will be losing this planetary. I mean, uh, yeah, the Zerg's going to be going for a 1-2, and we may be heading into a wonky base trade, but with Ruff losing this planetary, it's going to get real tough for him here. He's now pushing on in. SCVs are pulled, but uh, he's, he's, it's pr he's pretty much all in at this point. I mean, the Zerg player, whether he'll be able to clean this up is a question, but Ruff now floating over his main base. He's going to want to transfer all those SCVs too, but uh, he wants to get some counter damage done, or is he just going to pull back? I mean, I guess he's just pulling back, waiting for more Ravens here. And he's got a single Raven out now. I mean, Ravens actually make this make this play. They make the Cyclones work. All right. Now, uh, Ruff, I mean, he is mining once again, so his economy's not that bad. I mean, Caleb's taken a massive blow to his economy. He's now just getting it back on track. But now there's another two Ravens out for Ruff. Only has one anti-armor missile so far. But if he fights with, say, two of them, plus three Cyclones... I mean, the Zerg will have negative armor from the anti-armor missile, and these will be plus three Cyclones. The damage they'll do is just so quick. It's literally just going to be a glass cannon army versus a glass cannon army. Now, where Ruff's moving on out, he scans the army, which is nice for him. But looks like he will actually catch some of these swarm hosts, which is huge. Picking those off in a low economy situation is important. Caleb, I mean, uh, he's got to respect this. Ruff does lose a few Cyclones here, but... I mean, uh, it, it, I think this game will come down to the main fight. I mean, Ruff not too far behind on army supply. We are seeing mass cyclones right now. All right. Okay, Hydralisk on the way for Caleb, so just making anything I can. I mean, I think Hydras are the right choice for him because they do have they do have pretty high health, and I mean, they put out so much damage versus the Cyclones, it does just make it Glass Cannon versus Glass Cannon. Caleb will be intercepting this army here. Some drones that were long distance mining get found. Ruff actually lining up some Hydras there. That's nicely done for him. Now, uh, Caleb's scouting out. Sees that Ruff is really just on one base at this point. But, uh, I mean, these armies, they're looking pretty equal. I mean, it, I mean, there's a chance Ruff's army just gets bopped. That first fight could have gone so much differently. Ruff could have actually taken a fight if he hadn't lost those Ravens, so he can't afford to do that again. If there is some stream issues, I will look into that, guys. We have actually dropped a few frames, so I apologize for that. I will pause the stream on my end, trying to uh, save bandwidth. I mean, my ISP is not that great. I, I know it's really intermittent for me, so, uh, yeah, we'll see. But now here comes Ruff. He's actually going to catch this Zerg base. Caleb is out of position this time, and this is his fifth. I mean, a lot of the bases are mined out on this for Caleb because he's had the more regular economy. Look how fast those Cyclones just annihilated that base. A new spawning pool for Caleb was going up, but that gets picked off there. So, uh, Caleb, I mean, he's got a huge bank. But this game still could come down to the one big fight. If he had something like Infestors, that would be huge, but... I mean, committing to something like that is pretty tough. And now Caleb trying to take that base on the right, but he lost 17 drones as they all got found there. And I mean, as Ruff gets closer to maxed out, the fight's going to be looking better for him. Vipers will be absolutely huge here. So uh, that's a nice move there, but it looks like this base does get denied. Forces the cancel. Nicely done there by Ruff. And if Ruff takes a fight before these Vipers are out, this would be huge. And I mean, we could be having it right now. Locust Wave goes on out. Ruff wants to avoid that if he can. But uh, Caleb is fine buying time for now. Ruff pushing onto the right side. These Cyclones and Hellbats, they just go so well together. Like bread and butter, man. Okay, Ruff actually just right clicks on another hatchery, picking that off. But okay. Now, I mean, while Caleb, the clock was really on his side at this point, I mean, Ruff, I mean, he's lost so many bases, so it's not necessarily. I mean, he's got a really. He's got so many minerals, though. He's got a massive bank. But Ruff getting that vehicle plating is going to help him out, so he does have the upgrade advantage, catching some of these units. It really will come down to this fight. Th this, this fight is going to be everything. Ruff is just maxing out on Cyclones. 
Alrighty, he's uh, scanning. Doesn't want to get surrounded here, but uh, I think he is just going to get on top of this. I mean, what was looking like a good fight for Caleb suddenly goes well for Ruff. As I mean, you got to be so careful engaging this. The swarm hosts are actually a lot of supplies. Some of the locusts are heading towards the third base. Some of them get distracted, but will still be, be a nice blow. Ruff throwing out an anti-armor missile, and he's actually going to take the fight now. I mean, there's other things going on on the map, but Ruff is going for it, taking the fight to Caleb before he can really take the optimal engagement. And Ruff stepping forward with all these cyclones. I think he may be able to make it work. Look at this. He picks off most of the Zerg army. He's now up in supply. Well played as Ruff ties up the series. All right, very well played by Ruff there. Okay, so a crazy game. The next map's going to be Caleb's pick. Thanks to everyone for tuning on in. If you're enjoying this game, this stuff is bananas. All right, well played. I, I mean, people were expecting Ruff just to die. Caleb's doing pretty well. This is the Ruff's, that's the Ruff special specialty. Now, I believe we still got some of those Macharino codes to use, guys. Make sure to go do that. Red Rider BB Gun contributing $2. Thank you very much. That's appreciated. Uh, nerf Swarm Host, please, from Siege Tank Dealer on that Macharino. Now, uh, yeah, so thanks to everyone for tuning on in. I hope you're enjoying it. This, is, this, this show match is going pretty well. And then we have another one after this. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying these games, though. That's it's, it's just absolutely insane. Oh, we are dropping a few more frames. I really, I'm gonna have to take a serious, more in-depth look into that. Okay, next map's gonna be Seril and Fall. I mean, just this series is already, has already been so bananas. Thank you. We've had some follows. We have had Destrial follow. Thank you very much for the support. I hope you guys are enjoying the tournament. Well, it's not a tournament. It's just some show matches, but it's awesome. What was Ruff's APM? I didn't pull it up that time, but uh, yeah, thank you guys. This this game, these games are crazy. This is why I wanted this show match. People are like, why start out with something like, uh, why start out with just like a match between these two guys? They're not really known, but this is this is why I wanted it. And now uh, we're getting these guys on into the lobby. Ruff did say BRB, so we may have a second wait before the next one. Ruff with a billion APM plays. Any support on the match, Reno, is appreciated, guys. Make sure to uh, share out the stream. I am trying to hit that Twitch partner, and to do that, need to uh, need to get over seventy-five viewers. So that's the goal for today. <laughs> you guys seem to be having a lot of fun in the chat today, which is always always awesome to see. And I did say down in uh, I did say in uh, pardon me, getting tongue-tied here. I did say earlier, I will be casting WESG tomorrow, N-A. Uh, I see a suggestion in chat for nerfing liberators in a future patch. And I, oh, I, I main Terran. Um, if Liberators were massive units, so Corruptors and Tempest would be better versus them. I think that's the exactly wrong way to go around nerfing Liberators. But uh, I'll, I can get more into that in just a second, but let's do some introductions here. These guys, it's currently tied 2-2, two to two, spawning up in the top right-hand side of the map. It's uh, Caleb Arrakis and his opponent spawning down the bottom left-hand side of the map. It's rough. But uh, yeah, so as far as if Liberators did need a nerf, it would be in the early game, whereas Corruptors and Tempest, when a Protoss or a Zerg has that, they're pretty fine versus Liberators. So 
That's not that's not where liberators are too strong. Rough moving out with a barracks or with an SCV. No barracks up just yet. So could be going for some shenanigans here. Dare I say he's going to build it at the back of Caleb Arrakis's base. Or no, he's going for the eBay block again. Look at this. Will it be the eBay? I think it's going to be, right? Is it? Yeah, there's the eBay. Gets the block off. Being a pain. Now, uh, Caleb pretty much has to throw up a spawning pool and expand elsewhere because for a Zerg in order to clean up an eBay on your side of the map. Now, uh... Yeah, the Zergs, I mean, they need to get out Lings to just kill even a fairly low HP engineering bay. So Caleb has to expand to the other location. Rough trying to make his opponent feel odd. And he's also getting up that barracks on the low ground, so he wants that wall off. So crazy stuff here, guys. All right. eBay block into Bunker Rush at the third. I mean, if there's a if there's a cheesy build, Ruff has probably tried it at some point. Now, Ruff is Ruff is playing for some dollar dollar bills here, though. So, you really want to. Uh, he's he's really bringing out the best of the cheesy build. Also, drunken furries, or furies. <laughs> Not drunken furries has followed. Thank you for the follow, guys. Shows that you are enjoying the content. Rough, I mean, he goes for a sig... This is the signature rough marine here. Before he gets into the uh, reactor. Okay, Caleb. Gonna be cheesing, cheesing himself. Going for a uh, hatchery on rough side of the map. He says, you know what? Enough is enough. eBay will be cancels here, but I don't know if rough's gonna scout this out. Now, we'll see. How's this gonna work? Is Caleb gonna go for roaches or something? What's he gonna do? Like... Because this has got to be for aggressive play, right? Like, I think it's going to be for a Roach Warren. Okay. Now, why uh, Hellions are on the way for Ruff, but he's not known for his scouting. Because he's, he's usually the one doing the cheesy stuff, whereas Caleb's sort of turning it around on him. Ruff, does he see these Lings? Apparently not. And now he's getting up an armory, but yeah, it's going to be a roach push from Caleb with his own counter counter proxy hatch. Ruff not seeing this. He's going to come on in, see the lack of a natural, going to get on in here with his hellions, see these lings get body blocked, and have to go on home. Now, if he scouts at the third, he'll see there's no drones, so he's going to have to be worried. I think if I'm rough right now, you want to start two cyclones. We'll see. How, how's he going to react to this? There's lots of lings coming across the map. These hellions could be in trouble. Uh, yeah, rough. I mean, these hellions are being chased. He should have seen those lings, though. Lowering the depot. A bunker's now on the way, so rough is a little bit worried. He's got these hellions. He sees those lings running up there. Ah, uh, he raises the depot again, but he's actually focused on a counterattack right now. He's got a cyclone on the way, but ravagers are now coming on in. I mean, these SCVs are going to have to repair very well. This bunker, I don't think it's going to get up, and this could spell disaster for rough right now. He's going for a counterattack, which, dare I say, could actually be huge. Bunker gets up, but it's actually just going to be focused on down, and there's no Marines to go in it. Ruff's going to have out some Cyclones. Hellions are going to be getting some good damage on this drone line here. Or actually, they haven't gotten anything just yet. Drones were pulled. Seven of them getting roasted there. Ruff uh, transforming a little bit, but he's got getting out two Cyclones. However, if they get caught, SCVs need to be pulled to repair this. A Marine's out. Ah, oh, can the SCVs get the repair? They're aiding their buddy there. I mean, this is a low unit situation, and this is where Cyclones excel, but... The, the, uh, this is why we don't see the low ground, why we don't see the factory in part of the wall, because Ruff needs all his units to defend here. Now, both players took a bit of damage, but Caleb has been committing hard to this. I think Ruff now knows that it's a proxy. We'll see. How's he going to be able to hold on? He's getting... I mean, oh, he needs to repair the cycle. Make sure to keep that alive. Uh, another cyclone pops out, which is going to help greatly. SCVs are being pulled. Ruff realizing how critical it is that he holds this, and he's holding on the low ground so far. He needs to be producing more units, though, like... Uh, he's getting up that wall once again, which is so critical. He's made a few Marines, but I think we need to see some more Hellions or another Cyclone on the way when Ruff can afford it. I think it's a little bit too early to be committing to an Orbital. Ruff really needs to realize how Caleb's just committing more and more to this, but uh, I mean, two Cyclones are good to hold, but this is a pretty scary Zerg army. Walling once again is very important for Ruff. The Cyclones, now they're on this side of the wall, can spit out a lot of DPS, but we need to see some more units out here for Ruff. Lowering the depot, that's a little bit risky. Now the Overlord's coming in, so these Ravagers will be able to corrosive bile. 
Uh, Ruff's gonna have to try and make this hold. He's getting up a bunker, which will help tremendously. Ooh, a misclick by Caleb there. Accidentally corrosive bottling the ground. Now uh, another Cyclone on the way for Ruff, but once he has out the bunker, that's gonna help him tremendously. And the economy is much better for Ruff right now. Caleb wants to get on in. Uh, Transfuse going down. I mean, uh, Ruff may lose these depots here, which is gonna be a pretty significant blow as we'll have to rebuild those, but so far, uh, you don't wanna be overcommitting Ruff. Now it looks like he's kind of baiting Caleb in here, and I mean, I think this is actually gonna work out just fine for Ruff. I mean, he's got a full bunker, may lose a Cyclone or two, but there's honestly just too much Terran right now. Ravager's going down, SCV's pulled for good measure, and now Ruff's in a really good spot here. I mean, uh, worker count, pretty close. Ruff's got Mules, got Double Orbital, got Cyclones, picking off that Queen, he can also get that Overlord. And um, he hasn't scouted the third base, but eventually he'll be able to get on that. And now Hellion's on the way here for Ruff. We'll see, I mean, did he clue into where all those roaches and ravagers were coming from? Caleb now following this up with macro, getting up more drones. I mean, he's technically on three bases. He's really saturated at his second base, I guess. Maybe just going to want to take his third base, then go from there. Now, uh, Ruff, on the other hand, really just on one factory production, so that could be where he falls short a little bit. Okay. Now, uh, I mean, here come in these Hellions, rough getting counter damage there. Alrighty. Now, uh, Ruffy still got it with these Cyclones. I apologize for uh, tabbing out there for a second. Now, uh, it's like, uh, I mean, Caleb gonna be losing this extra base, but he, he is getting up to three base Zerg, so dare I say this game could stabilize. All right. Okay, now our rough going for double triple starboard actually He's gonna be going into this air style maybe once again, but he is still just two basing it here Caleb in the dark Okay, I mean uh, Hellion's coming across the map here for For rough. I mean he's trying to get some more harassment done. Caleb is still only on 36 workers We'll see. I mean uh, these Hellions for rough. They are on the retreat there Caleb showing them the door now we'll see, I mean, is Caleb gonna expect the mass, mass Banshee transition rough cleaning up creep? Oh, uh, these Hellions may get caught here, which is gonna be a nice blow for Caleb, giving him back map control. Hellions gonna try and take a trade there, but excellent surround there by Caleb, picking off a lot of these, although some of them do get away. And uh, now suddenly the Banshees are beginning for rough. Okay, Hyperflight Rotors on the way for Ruff, so he really is just going to be pooling these Banshees. Is he? Or Wait, where'd these Banshees go? Wait, he hasn't made any yet. Silly me, they're just popping out now. Okay, so uh, Ruff, I mean, he's got a good count of Cyclones still defensively. Caleb coming on in. Tries to get a scout off with the Lynx, but I don't believe he'd have seen those Banshees. I mean, it, it would have been close, right? But no, I don't think he would have seen them there. Ruff still just making out up these Banshees. Lair on the way for Caleb. We'll see what he's going to commit to. I mean, he's making a lot of roaches and lings still. Command center on the way here. So 
So Ruff is going to be ready to expand, but he is committing to this air style. I mean, look at this. Caleb is just making a ton of Roach Ravager. He's getting out a lot of Queens, but these Banshees are going to hit hard and strong for Ruff. Ruff now waiting out with some Cyclones and Hellbats out on the map. Scanning out. He's at, Ruff's actually scanning ahead to make sure these Banshees don't get caught here. He's moving in with five, which, dare I say, is a manageable amount. But Ruff now coming in with these Cyclones, and this is actually going to be scary for him because this is a ton of Zerg and just massive surround there. So Ruff losing a lot of his ground army, but he is coming in with these Banshees, and I don't know if Caleb even has a Spore. He does not. So suddenly Ruff's going to be hitting hard, and I mean, Caleb can counterattack, but there will be Banshees. Ruff's getting ready for this. This is going to be a bit of a base trade right now. Banshee's going to be going to work on this mineral line, so a lot of drones are going to die here. And this is a lot of drones that are dying. 14 so far. Meanwhile, the counterattack for Caleb is moving on in, but there's going to be no anti-air on, on the attacking front, so Ruff in theory should be able to hold this depending on how many Banshees he has back at home. He's got three, he's got another three on the way, and that's a pretty significant number. Now here comes in Caleb. The Banshees for Ruff got to get on cleaning this up. The, the rest of them can come on in. SCVs need to be running though, and I mean these Banshees got to get in here cleaning it up. Caleb may be able to kill off a ton of SCVs right now. I mean, uh, Corrosive is actually going to connect with two of the Banshees there. That's absolutely massive. Ruff's sort of going for a panic wall, which is going to help him out, but it may be a little bit too late as Caleb will be able to focus this down. It's not going to buy him too much time, and suddenly Ruff's SCVs could be in a lot of trouble right now. All the Banshees coming on home, they will be able to start picking off these units, but there's a ton of Zerglings right now. And uh, uh, Ruff's going to be able to keep producing these Banshees, but he's going to lose pretty much every SCV right now. I mean, never underestimate a third CC Terran, but this could be looking pretty tough for our Terran player here. I mean, uh... Ruff making some cyclones to try and help out and defend this. Okay. Now, uh, Ruff moving across with the Banshees for a counterattack right now. Spores and spines, or a lot of spores on the way, pardon me, are on the way. Ruff actually came in with two cyclones out of the blue, but there's so many queens for Caleb. We'll see what Ruff's able to get done. He's coming in cloaked. He may be able to get this base or something, but there's a lot of spores here. Ruff just diving on in. Going to be able to one-shot a queen there. Loses a banshee. Going to be begin working on a hatchery, but queens will be able to respond to this and just transfuse it. And uh, Yes, they will. Now, Ruff not getting too much done with these banshees here, and he really needs to get anything he can done. Picking off a queen is a nice touch, but... Gonna have to get out of here with these Banshees scouting to see those Queens are in pursuit. Ruff has rewalled the natural with his CC, which is very important for him because if he took any more counter damage, he'd be in a lot of trouble. He's now working away on this hatchery. I mean, Caleb doesn't have any uh, sort of proper anti-air on the way. Overseer is slow to react to this, so Ruff microing these Banshees well, gets a hatchery, defending back at home. Okay, I mean, uh, now Ruff, he's got these Banshees still sharking around here, getting out, getting away with them. But Aspire is now on the way for Caleb, and that's really going to put a clock on Ruff because, I mean, a three base Zerg is good, but now the Banshee's actually engaging these Queens. Is there enough? I mean, these are plus one Banshees, picking off a lot of the ones with energy, and Ruff's actually... Is he going to clean up all these Queens with these Banshees? A lot of the Banshees are in the red, but Ruff actually picking off every Queen of Caleb. Now the natural base is going to be exposed. He can just right-click on that. Very well done. Does lose a Banshee, but that's some huge damage there. Uh, there's another Spore here for Caleb, but Ruff may be able to find the Lair. Now drones are actually transferring there. Ruff able to get working on those. Gonna find the Spire too, and if Rush, Ruff shuts down the Spire, I mean, that's it for Caleb. I mean, what's he got on the way? More queens? But actually, yeah, that's literally it. Just more queens on the way. And when he loses the spawning pool, he won't be able to make any more queens. So I think Ruff may just have checkmated his opponent. He's scanning. I think Caleb's just saying, wait, did I just die to these Banshees? And I think he did. What does Caleb have? He's gonna have nothing right now. There's nothing for Caleb here. Ruff... I think he may have done it. I mean, Caleb, he can rebuild a spawning pool, but Ruff, just to be safe, is even making Vikings back at home. Banshee's going to pick off the last queen for Caleb. Literally the last queen. Caleb has nothing else. And yeah, I think Ruff's done it. I mean, he's going to begin working on this spore crawler, but he, Caleb can't even build any more spores. He can literally make no anti-air right now. He's making roaches, but what's he going to do? Counterattack? He loses all but his bases. GG. Ruff. Takes the takes game number five and has actually taken the lead in this show match. Draxi has followed.
All right. Now, uh, next map is going to be uh, Caleb's pick. All righty, next map's going to be Parasite here. Okay. I mean, <laughs> rough with the Banshee play. He just checkmated his opponent. Hope you guys are enjoying this this show match, by the way. We'll have a short break, and then we'll do Supernova versus Puck, hopefully. Alrighty, getting rough. Uh, get, everyone's ready. We're loading on in. I mean, rough may be able to take the series here. Okay, I may have something. Wow, a lot of follows actually coming on in. Thank you guys. Uh, Jiggeron following Water Six 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 and Artemis following. Thank you guys. Supernova versus Puck. I may have honestly screwed up with the scheduling. But uh, we'll see. I will I'm just, uh, that's why I'm doing a bit of admin stuff behind the scene. All right. Okay, but let me just uh, make sure that that is done. Yeah, I may have misscheduled with Puck, so we're gonna see if he's around because the original date was supposed to be Sunday, but uh, Apparently, I never told or confirmed with Puck that Friday was good. So, spawning up the top left-hand side of the map, it's Psy Storm's Rough. And spawning down the bottom right-hand side of the map, it is Caleb Arrakis. Thank you guys for tuning on into the show match. Thankfully, this game has been so good. And say worst-case scenario that Puck is not home. Alrighty, but now we'll see what Ruff's gonna do. Low ground wall off once again. Actually, double barracks, proxying one, keeping the other on this side of the map. I should have been observing at the start, but. All right. Spawning pool on the way here. So, uh, Caleb, just going for a standard hatch first. Now, Ruff with the one proxy barracks, the other one back at home. So, we'll see what he's going to do with this. I mean, I don't know what it'll be. Like, what crazy stuff is Ruff cooking up this time, guys? I mean... Okay, he's floating this out. Oh, my God. He's going to do a bunker float wall off. Oh, is Caleb going to be able to block? Are the drones going to be in time? Oh, my God. It's going to be so close. It's not, though. Ruff going to be able to get the one marine up. Oh, rough double going for an eBay as well. Tra gonna try and pad this SCV around. Uh, is he gonna be able to get to it though? I mean, all it takes is uh, all it takes is the one marine to get out, and then these drones are in trouble. Rough now gonna be able to begin working on this bunker. Gonna want to pad that right. That that SCV, he's got to change spot, but he's not. Oh, he actually goes down. That's actually so huge for Caleb there. Rough is gonna be able to deny mining at this base, but unfortunately for Rough. That bunker not going to get up. This, this is actually such a sick play from Ruff. Now, counterattack for Caleb may be a possibility, but all, all Ruff is going to be able to do is shut down mining. Once the queen is out, Caleb should be able to clean this up. Wall off going up on the side of Ruff, but is that a solid wall? Guys, I think there may be space in that wall. Those circles are not overlapping. Yeah, this could, this could be rough. <laughs> this could be tough for Ruff. Um, uh... I think that Caleb might just have it since this isn't a solid wall in, right? Like this is this is a mistake for Ruff. Can Lynx just get in here? No, it actually is a solid wall up. Okay. I'm a fool, but now Ruff has to get this up. He's forced to make one heli and one marine. This supply depot being the real MVP that Ruff started building, but uh it's gonna be able to get focused down. SCV is exposed. And it is gonna go down, and Ruff needs every bit of hit points on that. 
The marine pompano will help clean this up. All right, now speed on the way here for Caleb. Ruff's hellion's moving out, but once that speeds out, that hellion is gonna be gonna be a dead biker. Now, uh, Ruff, I mean, I don't think Caleb's gonna be able to break this thanks to the one marine, but oh, his hellion actually in a very uh, odd position there. Reactor gonna be killed, not canceled. Hellion trying to get to safety there. Kind of by time, but yeah, this is looking pretty good. Pretty good for Caleb here. Ruff did block a potential third base location. Okay. All right, I mean, Caleb's on two bases. He's now getting up a third in the pretty standard Zerg location. Okay, now uh, looks like uh, the next show match we'll have to find a new opponent for Supernova thanks to my scheduling mistake. But uh, Fusion Core on the way for Ruff, so he may be going into battle cruisers behind this, either that or Liberator Range. I think it's gotta be a Liberator Range if it's Ruff. I don't think he makes too many battle cruisers, and versus a Zerg with a decent economy, battle cruisers are not that good. All right, but okay, so Marine working away on this Overlord. Ruff trying to go for a medivac drop and not getting anything done there. I mean, you just look around on the map, and yeah, it is advanced ballistics here for Ruff. So going to be going for some of that liberator harassment. You can just look around on the map. And the Ruff is always... Yeah, you can just look around on the map, and Ruff is always going for some weird harassment. But Caleb may be trying to uh, sweep... Ruff's feet out from underneath him as he's going to be going for some big harassment here. Or a big attack, pardon me, not harassment. He's going to be going for a, a Nidus Worm, and I'm not sure Ruff's going to have vision for this. I mean, he's making double cyclone, which is what you need, but there's going to be a lot of roaches here. This is done in the vision of Ruff, so Ruff sees this. Is he going to react, though? That's the question. Medivac's coming home, but, uh, I mean, there's gonna be a Nidus in his base, and he is not prepared for this. He does have one Liberator out. I mean, they do have, they will have range, but, I mean, uh, rough denying mining here, but now there's a lot of Queens in his base. I mean, Cyclones are good at holding rushes, but it's gonna be tough for these Cyclones. They're really gonna have to pull a Miracle here. I mean, uh, another Nidus even being made in rough space right now. It's looking pretty rough. There we go, I did it again. It's looking pretty tough for the Terran player. Okay, now, uh, looks like, uh, these tech buildings for Ruff will be killed or cancelled. More roaches just popping out. Caleb has no reason to stop committing to this. I mean, there is... I think Ruff may have cancelled. No, Advanced Ballistics did finish up, so... I mean, this is gonna help clean this up, but Ruff needs to float the CC now. He... I mean, the Liberators are kind of like a siege choice here, so... The, the massive range he has on them right now are actually gonna help. Ruff taking the fight with Hellbats, with the Cyclones right now. He may be able to clean this up, actually. I mean, the Liberator's helping out so, so much. He's repositioning that, but... Uh, the buffer of SCVs is falling. Another Liberator pops out, which is going to help. Caleb trying to focus that down. Another Liberator getting set up. And I think that Ruff may just have been able to pick off all the anti-air, but his third CC has been delayed here. And I think Caleb, at the very least, will be able to get that, because Ruff doesn't have too much else on the way. I mean, he's got that third CC that's still building, but uh, these Liberators, there's n I mean, Ruff doesn't really have much else producing right now. He's, uh, make he's made two more Cyclones, but... I think he's got to cancel and start rebuilding that third CC immediately. Oh, uh, we'll see. I mean, Caleb's still... He, oh, he's going into a Spire behind this. He's going into drones, so this is very tough for the Terran player. Ruff's 40 supply to 105. Caleb can either keep committing or just pull one out. The Liberators are doing work right now, but here comes in the Ravagers. They're just going to be able to get underneath him. I think Caleb's taking this to an ace match here. And suddenly, this series has actually gone the full distance as uh, Ruff's in a lot of trouble right now.
Okay, now a GG gets called. Rough. Not able to seal the deal. Caleb ties it up. And we are going into the final game. Alrighty. You guys are enjoying the content? Feel free to follow. We'll try and find another NA player. Okay, final map is going to be Fractured. Or Fracture, pardon me. We'll see what Ruff's going to bring out on this map. It can be used for a fair bit of cheese. <laughs> NA players. Yeah, um, unfortunately I did miss schedule with Puck. And so that that's completely my fault. We will try and find a fair opponent for Supernova, because it's not really fair to you guys to not have a show match. And uh, we will make it up to Puck another time. We will try and find a Protoss player to play versus Supernova. Who knows, maybe, I mean, uh... Future versus Supernova or Riot? Not sure you guys want a TVT though. Alrighty, we're loading into the final map though. Alrighty. We do still want to use all those Macharino codes though, so make sure to type exclamation mark Macharino, guys. Okay. Maybe. Just maybe, but let me just uh, get everything set up correctly here. Alrighty, let's, let's give it proper introductions for the final match. Spawning down in the bottom right-hand side of the map. Playing for Team Psystorm, it's rough. And his opponent spawning up in the top left-hand side of the map. It is Caleb Arrakis. All right. If it wasn't for WESG, I feel as if uh, maybe Neeb would be up for it, but who knows. Thanks to everyone for tuning on in, guys, though. In the response to the show match, you guys seem to really be enjoying it. Now, uh, Hatchery first for Caleb. The standard stuff. I mean, uh, Ruff going for that low ground wall off once again. We'll see what he brings out. Personally, I'm a big fan of Mass Reapers on this map. Okay, now, uh, yeah, we'll see. Refinery on the way for Ruff, so double gas. If you guys are enjoying the content, you can feel free to leave a follow. Or if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can subscribe for completely free. Alrighty. But pretty standard stuff. Okay, I know someone in chat was talking about this. They wanted to see the ghosts, and we're going to be seeing the ghosts. Ruff going for that Ghost Academy wall off at his low ground base. So Caleb's going to know what's coming his way, but is he going to be able to deal with what Ruff is going to be throwing at him? A ghost academy, it could be for quick cloaked ghosts, it could be for snipes, or it could be for drops. We'll just have to wait and see. So it is indeed that ghost academy in this game number seven. Get hyped, guys. Alrighty, there's that first ghost on the way. Now how is Caleb going to prepare for this? I think you want roaches, right? Maybe a ton of queens? I mean, he, he he's not faltering in the face of danger. Although he's actually scouting, but looks like he will be going for a third base. Banes versus ghosts. I mean, it'll be slow Banes, though. There's no way you can get ghosts so quick enough. 
And the first ghost for Ruff is actually just walking across the map. Masslings, I mean, yeah, maybe. Depends if Ruff follows this up with Hellions or not. Yeah, I feel as if you just make enough roaches and queens, though. Like, you can... I mean, because it takes one snipe per queen. And, I mean, a ghost really will probably realistically only get to, say, two snipes each. And then what else Ruff is going to have is the question. I mean, he's getting up a factory. It could be Cyclones. But there is going to be that medivac on them, or a starport for medivacs most likely. So it will be a ghost drop coming out of rough. Caleb saw this one ghost wandering around. Now what ghost skin does rough have? Is that the new one? That's the uh, Emojin ghost? Ruff following this up with the CC as well. We'll see what damage he's going to be able to get done with this ghost drop. Yeah, one, uh, one snipe takes a queen to one shot away from pretty much anything. It puts, puts it down to five health. All right, now, uh, Lings, see that it's still just ghosts on the way for Ruff. Now, how's Caleb going to deal with this? Starport done, so it is going to be that four ghost drop. Ruff will need something else in order to defend from from this, but, I mean, Caleb, he's just making a ton of drones, and then may what? maybe what? He's going to make a ton of Lings or something? I mean, ghosts with medivac micro is good, but what else is Ruff going to have? He's getting up a uh, tech lab behind this. Yeah, that's the thing. Ruff not hiding the ghost academy. Just saying, all right. This is what I got. You're going to have to deal with it. We'll see. But, uh... I'm just thinking about who we're going to get to replace Puck. We may invite Scarlet. I'll, I'll, see, I'll see if she's around. I'm I'm pretty much just gonna message every player I every player I have contact with. Like, hey, you wanna play some StarCraft and earn a few bucks? Now uh here comes in rough with this. Uh, I mean these ghosts they have a lot of health, but he actually loses one of the ghosts there. And that's a pretty big deal. That those are expensive. So the drop not getting anything done. Good defense by Caleb. I mean he's floating a fair bit of minerals while this is going on, but he's now he's now starting up twelve drones. Okay, now uh, Snipe goes down for a rough, but I mean, the Queens can transfuse, but I mean, he gets that final shot off. A Liberator comes on in. He's gonna help out with that. The Ghost can micro around. Uh, I mean, Ghost's now gonna unload on the high ground. Liberator trying to make anything happen. The Snipe goes down on one of the Queens. Snipe's going down on some more of the Queens. They really just need to be tapped in order to die. Otherwise, a transfuse can go down. Ruff is gonna wanna finish those off, but he needs to get some good damage done. He's gonna be able to finish off those Queens, and now he can start looking for some drones because Caleb's out of position right now. And I mean, Caleb, I mean, he had a lot he had a lot of stuff to deal with this, but not having enough right now. A lot more lings on the way will help out. Uh, looks like this medivac may actually get caught out. Rough forced to abandon a ghost. I mean, he's doing some cool plays, but I mean, the control, not the greatest. Losing two of those ghosts, the first one early on. But uh, looking at this now. We shall see. Okay, it's game number seven though. Who's gonna be able to take it? There is always the option that we could maybe wait for Puck to get home, because he said he'd be a few hours. And I mean, but I mean, that's not really ideal. I mean, we wanted to do one show match into another, so we'll look at the options. Rough once again moving out with ghosts. I mean, he's got a lot of tanks back at home to defend, but he's still on two bases versus a Zerg who's going up to four. If we just look at the supply, Caleb's going to get more and more ahead, as Ruff didn't really get too much done with this. He's trying to make fancy plays happen, but this is looking pretty good for Caleb here. Two ghosts going down to Liberator, or three drones going down to Liberator Harassment, pardon. Ruff's boosting around. I mean, Ruff's got good control. He's still keeping the pressure on, but uh, these ghosts, they need to be so careful. R they run into a roach. Snipe's going to go down on that. Caleb's doing a good job focusing down this medivac, though. The ghosts are going to be going to be fighting these links here. They can boost on out. Uh, this medivac, gotta be careful. I mean, the more health it loses, the more risky it becomes. And now, there is a spire on the way here for 
Poor Caleb. Did Ruff see it as a question? But no, he didn't. And suddenly he could be in a lot of trouble here. Kiting back, picking off a few things, getting a snipe off on a queen. Gets that down, nicely done. So I mean, Ruff's still microing, making these units work, but the damage he's getting done isn't too much. I mean, he comes in with some more Liberator harassment, nicely done. Snipe's going down on some more queens, popping those off, but oh no! He needs to get out with that many back. Five more drones going down, so some damage there. No mutas on the way for Caleb just yet, so Ruff has more time to get up anti here, but... He's getting up a third base while this is going on. The question is whether we'll see a single Thor made. Caleb, though, he's actually just going into Corruptors, no Mutas. Maybe just getting annoyed with all these Liberators, wants a very hard counter, getting annoyed with these Ghosts, perhaps. Because, I mean, Ghosts can snipe Mutalisk. They are very good versus light units. Uh, as far as things go, though, I mean, this show match has just been absolutely awesome, guys. I hope you, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Looks like we had a few new follows too. Kaboosh followed, Steep followed, and Psycho Loco followed as well. Thank you guys for the follows. All right, now uh, here we go. Siege tanks, Ruff's army, Hellbat siege tanks moving out. But I mean, it's not Mutalist, so he doesn't have to worry about that. Looks like some more drones were going down. I mean, he's been keeping Caleb busy. He's got a decent army. I mean, he's got ghosts and tanks. That's sort of like a late game composition, right? But. Uh, he's just moving out to secure his third base. Caleb does have quite a big army still. And Ruff's making more ghosts though, so he's going to have a lot of snipes. Snipes do one-pop Ravagers. They also one-pop Roaches. I believe... Do, do, does Snipe one-shot Roaches? I know they one-shot Ravagers, but... I think Roaches may be armored, so that may affect it. Don't quote me on that, but here comes in Caleb with a big attack. I mean, it's a strong army for Ruff, but the tanks are not sieged at all in time. There's a lot of ghosts, though, so they can snipe away on this army. So, I mean, uh, Caleb may take some losses retreating. A few snipes going down, but Ruff's got to be careful. He needs to lift off this base immediately. He cannot afford to lose that at all. I mean, he does force Caleb off for now. Okay, Snipe does one-shot roaches. That's good to know. Corruptors coming on in. We'll see what they're able to get done. They are going to just hang on out, get shown the door by the Thor. Few swarm hosts on the way. I mean, Ruff's not in a terrible situation, but this is still just a very heavy supply zerg. Ruff's moving out, but we may be seeing a bit of a base trade right now. Is Caleb just going to be able to force the... If, if Ruff lifts this CC, this could not be too bad. He's going to do that. We'll see. Is Caleb going to go home, or is he going to opt for the base trade? I mean, Ruff's army is good, but it's not that big. Here comes in some locusts going to be hitting the... Uh, hitting the natural. Ruff's now coming in, getting some snipes off on the queens. Tank's getting set up, so Ruff having a bit of a head start on this. I mean, getting a good position. We'll see if Caleb engages. I mean, the best choice for Ruff might just be to go home from this. All right, now, uh, Supernova gonna lift, or I mean, I called him Supernova, I think. Rough, gonna be lifted on up, out with this army here. Now, uh, Snipe's going down, but I mean, there's just so much there again. I think there's just gonna be too much for Caleb Arrakis. He's now doubling the supply here. So I think that Caleb, or Caleb has managed to do it. Rough can micro these ghosts till the end of time, but the medivac goes down, so they're gonna be left behind. I think Caleb's gonna have done it. And, but this has been one hell of a close series, guys. All right, nine Corruptors on the way. Rough going into Cyclones, but I feel as if it's going to be a little bit too little, too late. Hellion's moving in, maybe some harassment. Rough has one hell of a hill to climb. He's down 100 army supply here. And, uh, yeah, this is looking pretty tough. Tough for the Terran player. I think Caleb's done it. Locust are going to land. Okay, yeah, Caleb's charging on in. Ruff not going to have enough to hold off. And I think Caleb has managed to do it. Cleaning up all the SCVs and Ruff not having anything left. But this is this has been a fantastic show match, guys. Counter Cyclone's going down, but GG gets called. Caleb Arrakis manages to take it.